Mundo. Here I come. It's the Blitz Hour. Full hour we're going to go for. And let's bring the bishop here. Let's hit the pawn. Let's push. Push. All right, can't do this long play thinking. I've done the long play yesterday, so let's um, crack on with some speed. Let's go here. See if we can get them catching up on the time. Let's x ray through to the queen. So we have caught up on time, we're ahead now. Let's bring the knights here. Seeing the bishop. I think we're good to go here. Yep. Losing time again. Let's hit the knight. Knight doesn't want to play, just going to hit the knight again. Where's it going? Shall we take and then bring the rook here? Push the pawn. Go for a little tiny attack on the king. We still go with the attack on the king. Yeah. Why not? Knights protecting this square. Rooks, rooks protecting that square. So that looks quite nice. Get the queen up a little bit. Make it look like we're going to do something heavy. Bishop's attacking the queen, obviously. <clears throat> so I'm not sure why that's taking long. Oh, the knights come up. All right, so that makes that fairly interesting for us. Going to bring the bishop here, looking for a cheapie. Easily defended by this and this. Oh, that. <laughs> All right, so we can't get rid of the knight. Knights got the bishop on here. Can't attack the rook because of the situation with the bishop. So the only thing I can do is hit this pawn. So they're hitting our queen. We're not going to take, obviously. That means our bishop's getting taken by this pawn. Hmm, okay. So their time is running out, so we might as well just move fast and get them losing on time. That'll work for me. Let's take. Kind of looks like it improves our position because Queen's obviously got this pot on here. And the knight's blocking again. How many times is this knight getting involved in blocking? Too many times, isn't it? Let's go here. Yep, check on the king. Thank you very much. Has to come here or else the queen is going to take this pawn and going to be in trouble. Let's just bring the knight up. Only got 17 seconds left, so I think we should be able to weather the storm, get the knight up, and take with a check. King's staying there protecting the pawn. 
bring the rook attack in. He's only got 10 seconds left. Even though they've got more pieces on the board, they have to do a bit of thinking. Okay, so let's just bring this here. Just take, just take. And not interested in any of that, so let's push this pawn. It's looking for a quick mate of some sort. Let's maybe go here with the queen. And we went on time. Okay, nice one. Green door blitz. Oh. Oh. Let's take. Let's attack the queen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's a weird balance that we've got going there. We're going to lose this pawn. We may as well just bring it all the way back. What compensation? Oh, I thought we were going to lose it. Doesn't look like we are. Oh, we're losing that range as it may seem. Uh, they can see what we try. Hmm. Oh, look at my time. What? How was my time gone like that? Oh, shocking. I'm on 50 something seconds. I'm telling you, I must be asleep here. Wow. Oh, on the other side, nice one. Okay. Hmm. That's gonna hurt, isn't it? That's gone. He's on the queen. Oh my god. Oh, that was scandalous. Okay, let's block through the center. Support the pawn. Excuse me, support the pawn again. 
take support the knight Take with the bishop so that the bishop comes out oh they're not exchanging right okay let's bring the knight up attack him twice get the bishop out that's all get the rook involved get the bishop out of the way and let's get the bishop ready to be in chetto in Ketu. We do have three pieces, it's just that this queen is being x rayed, so it's not going to work. So they're thinking about this pawn. Do they actually win something out of it? Exactly, yeah. But we're going to take. Yeah, so they get the knight. Because our queen is um, currently pinned so do we win a bit of tempo with the check or does the bishop come back but then the knight still gets taken i think we probably don't win the tempo and the knight is still going uh, they haven't done that so the knight looks like it's going to escape and be able to attack our queen doesn't have any defense on so this bishop's not got a check on our king thankfully We will attack, and then if they go here, obviously the bishop is going to defend. But maybe we're not going to do it that way. Maybe we'll take with the bishop. Not too sure. Don't really like the way that looks, though. So I think probably take with the queen if they are taking. I've gone into long play thinking. Okay, so we're going to drop and then drop down when the bishop. The bishop's not doing anything, so the queen is defending the pawn. We've got three pieces on here. One, two, well, two pieces. If we take, his queen takes, bishop takes. Yes, let's take. We're on the queen, a higher piece. And expect the queen to move. We can take this, but then the queen takes. Do we just take the take the rook? Don't over fancy it. And just attack because the bishop's the oh. Oh no, but they don't have a check on our king with the bishop, so that's fine. That's fine. I was just panicking. Whenever you have the bishop in front, you have to be worried. Okay, so now what do we do? We've got, both of us have got... Let's go here. Got two pieces on the pawn. The bishop and the queen. I think we can take. We're on the queen. Doesn't look like an exchanger. Probably he's flying here or something. Or does he come round for a pawn? Probably coming for a pawn actually. I'm kind of buzzing from the over the board game yesterday, the actual nightmare of it, but um, I'm looking on the positive side um, and the end game part of it because we've been practicing the end games like crazy. So I'm, I'm happy with the end game methodology that we use to um, gain an advantage in the game, but not celebrating the absolute nightmare of being checkmated in one potentially. Luckily, the opponent was playing like playing it like a blitz match, so that's why we gained the advantage because they missed that or golden opportunity. And it happens. It happens to GMs, Super GMs, Elites, all sorts. You watch their games, they miss golden opportunities as well. Oh, it looks like they're frozen. Okay, we'll go on to the next one. You know, ah, they are near my my over the board rating. I'm always interested in playing players near my rating, you know, to get a half decent game going. I know there's a school of thought that says you should play higher ones. Well, what's the point in that? I'm not not at that level, so there's no point. Let's just bring the knight across here. Bring the bishop here. Let's castle. I think sometimes when, just because you do your streaming and you're talking about chess, people think that you 
you should be really good but you don't have to be really good to do any type of um, activity you know you just enjoy playing the game or doing the hobby or whatever it is so you don't have to be some sort of masterful thing you can be a coach and you might not be the best player in the world but you could still coach people on how to play games it's like boxing you know you don't have to be a world champion to be a coach in boxing you don't have to be a world champion in anything to coach oh look this is a nice fork oh bless let's take on the queen let's attack the queen we're in a bit of focusing before we let's attack the queen go for an exchange let's take so all intents and purposes we're just a minor piece up is that right yep okay let's bring the and it's a white square bishop rooks in the center of the board i've blocked my rook uh, i've blocked the rook let's attack the bishop we've got defense it takes knight takes or rook takes whichever rook takes take attacking the pawn supports it oh doesn't nice one don't want to get too giddy with the knife, not going to get it trapped. Oh, okay, nice one. Let's just block the pawn. Ooh, oh, we're doing this one. I always forget that I'm doing that move maneuver. Let's bring the knight up. It's free and all, no time for dilly dally. Let's bring the bishop out. Now we take with the knight, back in the knight. Wouldn't expect them to take, but we'll take anyway. Let's just push the pot. Let's go here. Try not to do one of them thinking things, you know. Short play games, too much thinking, just waste a lot of time. I mean, this is an <clears throat> obvious capture here, which the opponent is wasting their time on. Which is good for us, so I've got no complaints. Let's go here with the queen. Got an attack on the pawn, but really I don't know if I'm opening that up. And he's attacking. Or well, let's maybe support the pawn, but there's a load of air in these dark squares here. Let's go here, castle. Put the check on the king, move it back again. Am I moving it to yeah, move it back here? Might do a bit of a dance with the bishop. No, it's not off the back. Okay, giving us things to think about. Let's take. Let's move the knight. Ramping this down. Queen's on here. But we've got no support at the minute. Could attack the bishop. And still attack the bishop. Doesn't want any games in there, so we're gonna try and go here and go here with the Fianchetto thing, yep. Shall we? Yes. Okay, let's do the Fianchetto thing. And could come round and attack. Is this hitting our queen? So we could go and attack their queen, but maybe they're not going to be interested. not interested so we'll take and then bring the knight here attacking their bishop and then attack a rook so we're going to take the rook I'm going to attack their rook yeah so time wise we're not doing too bad and now it is proper end game stuff here can't go here with the knight at the minute Let's push the pawn. See if we can get here, but we might just block with that one. Push the pawn. Trying to get this one as a passer, but we'll see. The take, take. I don't think there's a right lot we can do about it, really, because the king's just going to take it off the board, isn't it? Just keep pushing, though, anyway. Just keep pushing. 
and what are we going to do? Looks like we're kind of jammed in, doesn't it? We're going to open up this palm. Oh, over here. Well, I don't think I could have done anything with the pawn anyway. He's got two linked pawns, but he's not only got a few seconds left. So we have to try and use the science of time against them. Oh, oh no. One, two, three. He's just going to keep ramping it. Go here. Maybe the knight could have gone here. Oh, he's taking stuff off. Go here. I don't know if that's going to help. Let's go here. And block the bishop. Oh, and they realise that. Okay, let's push. Let's push. Is there a technique? Take. Nope, there's no technique. There's no technique. Oh, I've just given him the pawn. <laughs> it's because he's so low on time, I'm thinking I'm going to get this, but it doesn't look that straightforward. Nine seconds. He's just going to get checks on me. Want one space to go. One space to go. I'm getting mated. One second left. Oh, only one space to go. Zero seconds. Oh, that's a damn shame. Okay, let's push through the centre. Let's attack the palm. Let's attack the palm. Take. Develop the bishop. That's it as a pawn. Bad bishop. Get the knight back. Castle. Push the pawn. Bishop blocker. Get the bishop up. Support the knight. Attack the bishop. Yes. Let's take. Let's take. Pressure on this pawn, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be interested in that. Bishop, dark square, bishop, rook opposite the queen. It's going queenside castle in. Okay, Fisher Spassky situation. Don't mind doubling the pawns here. Go for the queen. Let's take. And I'm going to take this way. And then put a check on the king. Take. The bishop, that's where bishop I'm going to attack it. Don't think they're going to exchange here. I think they okay. They have well, let's go with that. Go with this, support the pawn, get in the pawn because the pawn can't really take. But we can move the king here, move this here. This is a situation that they're not going to be interested in. Let's go here. Oh, business. Hey, yay, 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 yay. Right, let's crack on. Go. Oh. Get the knight out. Bishop. Let's castle. Take the pawn. Let's take the pawn. Gonna open up space in front of the king. Gonna take the bishop. Knight's moving because he wants to get that. So let's go here and let's open up the rook. Let's hmm, let's go here, tuck in the bishop. Take. Let's move the queen. It's got the pawn here. Let's go with the capture. They're slowing their process. Let's go here, attacking the bishop. Take the bishop, take the pawn, get the queen here with a check. Ooh, uh, chee 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 chee. 
anything doing. Take. Got this pawn, is that this pawn forever? Right, push. Why did I push that? Put a check. Let it go, let it go. Bought it for a brief moment. Oh, we've got forks going all over the place. Let's take. Is he doing support? Uh, no. Push. Support. Oh, you're joking me. You're joking me. What? Okay. Yay, 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 yay. God, there's nowhere to go for the queen. Oh, ugh. Nasty player. Uh, ooh. Have we just done a little bit of deliverance there for ourselves? Let's just develop the knight. Bishop's taken the pawn. The bishop. Oh, steady, steady, steady. Oof, I was just about to go and attack the knight. Oh, he's bringing the pawns in the center. Do we want that? No, I'd rather double my pawns. I'd rather double my pawns, you can take it. Keep them triples like that. Not playing ball. Coming for the pawn. It's not letting us get in at all, is it? Coming for the rook. Go check on first. There's a problem. Problem on aisle six. Let's take. There's a problem on aisle six. 
Sleeping Knight. We can doubly attack the pawn. I'm allowing them to take here. Go here. Whoa, steady on. Not doing what I'm expecting. Let's attack the rook. Looking for this. Let's push here. Check on the king. No. Push. Check on the king. Oh, he's got the pawn. I thought he was going for the knight. Ah, I'm just giving the damn pawn up. Eager beaver. Patience, patience. I've got a minute left. Giving him a chance to try and get these pawns down. Frozen. Just takes the pawn. It's not straightforward for me, is it? Even Stevens. One, two, three, one, two, three. Apart from we've got the rook. Okay. Ugly games, ugly games of chess. Okay. Let's block the pawn and we're doing this one, pushing the pawn here, get the knight out. Bishop x ray through to the Queen on this occasion. Always for the B pawn. Queen readiness supporting. Takes, takes. Do we lose out? No. There's attacking the bishop. Bring the bishop back. Blocking the knight's passage. Oh, okay. take with the knight. Does take. Take with the pawn or take with the knights? I'll we'll take with the pawn. No space for castling just yet. Just gonna have to make some space if they allow us. Good job they're going into long play thinking. Let's just um, doubly support the pawn, get the bishop out. Yep. And castle. And the rook opposite the queen. Bolster the pawn. And this could be interesting. Let's just bring the bishop here. Maybe put a check on the king, just get it moving across further. Let's do that. Put a check on the king, move it forward. Move it away from the rook, it's no longer protecting the rook. Now we can look to hit this pawn here. It's gone opposite our queen, so the knight's going to be moving. I think we need to be very mindful of that. So, might as well move the queen. And just bring it here. Yeah, let's bring... Oh, excuse me. Let's bring it here. Maybe coming here with the knight or something or the other. Yes, he is. Let's take... Not sure the queen's coming there, but if it does, yeah, okay, right. So we can still continue attacking this pawn, but this one's going to be so isolated and alone. I'm going to attack the bishop. It's just moving back, so they're moving swiftly. I'm going to attack the rook now.
I have time to bring the queen here, support until the rook can come again, or are they going to hit our knight? Knight's got to save here them. In the night anyway, so I'm going to take and bring the queen across here. Oh, got to be careful. Bishop takes, knight takes. Yep, yeah, okay. I'm going to bring the knight back. And then consider bringing this to see if we're exchanging the rooks. Pretty ten, so we're not doing that now because the queen is just going to take the rook off the board. So what do we have now then? Let's attack the bishop. Queen will be looking to attack the um, rook. When, when our queen goes up here, the queen's coming down here. Back in the rook. Because there's a back run. Yeah, straight away. So we can bring our queen all the way back here. Supporting the rook. Alright, so it looks like we're going to stay there forever and a day. In the way of getting here, there's no point because the queen goes here, rook takes, rook takes, so that's not going to work. I'm trying to make my knight have some life, but the bishop's blocking everything. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. So I don't have any other activity, let's just do that. And let's push this pawn. And they'll probably think, oh, this time I can come here and bring this rook here. And then I'm challenging. Oh, is that exactly what I was just saying? Yep. So we can attack the queen. Making that little bit of space. Not doing too bad on time. Not really a fan of the position we've got. Uh, ooh, what is this all about? So he comes there. Queen goes back up again. No, he gets this pawn, doesn't he? Oops. He gets the pawn. And then he's ramping that other pawn down. Ah. Yeah. Oh, that was a a misstep if I ever saw one. Yeah, he's ramping this pawn up. With his few seconds left. And I can't squeeze into his king anywhere. Can't squeeze into his king. And even if I can, he's just going to exchange... The queen off and this pawn's going down. Oh, he's not doing that. Just trying to be cheeky and advance my pawn. We won't get away with it, I don't think. Got nine seconds. Come on, faster, faster, faster. Run out of time, run out of time. Run out of time, run out of time. He goes for it, and we don't have diddly squat. Uh, he's only got one second left. Do you think we get get the surprise? Nope. Ooh, so close. Yes. <laughs> weren't starting then. Let's push here in the middle. Let's not get excited. Let's get the knight here. Supporting the pawn. Let's bring the bishop here. Supporting the pawn. Again. Take. Double in the pawns. It's got two on there. Bring the queen supporting. He's really got something in for this pawn. I'm going to hit the knight. And castle. to put a check on the queen, disrupt their king side. Uh, okay, I'm gonna still go with that. Have protection. Do we bring the pawn up, up a little bit more? I'm gonna take with the queen. Still hitting their queen. Ooh, okay. Um, right, quick, quick, quick. Think, think, let's bring this rook here. 
Let's take the queen off the board, don't play. What's the bishop doing here? I'm going to bring it back, acting as a pawn. Knight, let's just bring this here, see if we can make some space, if they don't hit us. Bring the pawn up. Let's take. 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 So they've got flexible knights now against our kind of stiff bishop. In two minutes, a bit of a long time. But they're thinking, thinking, thinking. How can they damage these pawns around here? They might have to do a reverse, might they? And let's just keep pushing here for now. And push again. And we've locked down our own area. Okay, let's bring the bishop here and get the knight back up. Attack the knight and the pawn takes. Push. My darts guys has been so bad, isn't it? Look, I can't even get in any spaces. This is their game, because they've got a flexible knight can come in all the gaps. Oh man. But it's having that time to find those gaps, isn't it? Oh yeah, threefold, that'll work for me. Nice one. Attack the pawn. Let's attack the center. A big thing, let's take. Take. Oh good, they're a long thinker in a short game. Happy, let's go with this. Castle. Orc I had. Here are me. Tunnel vision thought process really does mess you up. You know, you, you go, oh, if they do this, I'm going to do this. If they do this, I'm going to do this. And then when they make a move that could give you an advantage, you miss it because you've tunnel visioned your calculation on what you're going to do the next move. Bring the queen, try and bring it to safety. Opposite there, king. Looking for the cheap. Attacking the bishop. Let's bring the bishop here. Diagonal towards there, king. They're obviously aware the good knight's going to come here and attack the queen. So we go like this, the knight's coming there. Is it a bit of a waste doing that? Gets the bishop out, don't it? I'm actually just going to x-ray through to the queen. I'm not going to bother with the cheap thing. Do we lose the bishop? Oh, okay, let's take. The offering the cheap thing. Knight comes here. I really didn't want to get into that. It looks like it's going to be a queen. It's ooh, it's not. Didn't reckon on that, did I? I didn't reckon on that. Let's just bring the bishop here. Don't overthink it. Because if they didn't do that, maybe that's not a very good position for them. I did say, did I trap my bishop? I think I did, didn't I? Go there. Queen puts a check on. King goes back. There's no further checks on anything. Why don't I just hit his knight? Let's just hit his knight. He's for a piece. Too much thinking. Just do what is happening on the board now. See, when you go for like sort of them cheap type things, it doesn't really give you a good position. And my team's not working together as a team, you know, and it's uh, a little bit shabby at the minute. Rook's looking to come here. I can sense it in the water for some reason, you know, attacking the 
back in the night, thinking it's doing something. We're still opposite their king, but now we have a pawn in front of the queen. Nothing major happening there. Good luck to attack their queen, but just sends their queen somewhere else. Good, doesn't it? We're going to attack the rook. So they're putting deep fort into it. And I'm feeling happy with that. Let's go here. Was always defending. Would go there, but not yet. Let's bring the rook here. White square bishop comes out, but it gets taken. A yeah, strange little game, really. Wants to come around here, but let's go here. See what happens. What on the queen? Have we sent the queen to a good position? Is the rook still there? So we'll put a check on the king. Queen can then put a check on the king. Looks like they might have left the game. All right, interesting development in that one. Yeah, let's block the pawn. Ooh, early bishop. Let's bring the bishop here. Let's Ooh, get the knight out, supporting the pawn. Castle. Oh, no, mouse slip. I, I didn't want that one. I didn't want that one. I don't like the position that it gives me when you do that move. I was meant to put the pawn here. And it looks like the opponent's not doing stuff, so we'll go here. Let's just open up the pawn. No, it's not take doing that either, so it may have worked out okay after all. I'm going to push the pawn here. don't really want them in the center do we so I might be overthinking the situation now push open up our king push oops excuse me push take let's get the bishop in I think I'm getting a little bit excited, too excited with this um, position now. I think I might have fluffed it. Take, knight takes, queen takes, queen. So they're plus one there. I think I got a bit giddy with um, breaking the mold of that initial start up. Let's bring the knight here. Re on this space. He's got two, three on that space as well. Something here that would be nice if they were asleep. Nope, it's not happening today. Got three on that space. Not going to want to give it up. Rook's probably coming for the pawns. Gives us something to think about. Checkmate. Oh, I wouldn't be because the knight blocks. Okay, fair enough. But they, they can do that. They're not doing that. Attack the rook. Comes down. Starts pressing. Oh, look at that position. I think I might have just handed it to him on a plate. That was a checkmate, but it's not. Bishops can't. Bishop can't come here. It's one of those where you just wish, and then he just comes down for the bishop, doesn't he? Yeah. Where am I going? Yeah, messed it up. Got too, too arty. And I lose the bishop as well. 
So I've got the rook against two knights. And it's supporting and the rook is all jammed in. It's got nowhere to go. Try and squeeze round here. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Nothing to do, nothing to do. Nothing to do at all. What's the rook going to do? Nothing. Squeeze around here, try and disturb this paw maybe. Oh, for crying out loud, no chance. I'm standing no chance, they've got magical skills. Push. Oh no, he's got that pawn, I should have supported that. Ah, oh, give it up. Give it up. They've got 30 something seconds. Push. Magical knight moves, let's um, keep pushing. And my rook is trapped. Not yet. It is now. No? Not yet. 22 seconds. Of dancing with them knights, he could have been actually pushing his pawns down, couldn't he? I can't defend the pawn. That's a shame, we won on time. Okay, last one. It's only about four minutes left. Let's go here. Yeah, four minutes. Let's block the pawn. Block the pawn. In the center, get the bishop out. Would take, but I'm not going to do them apples today. Last one, let's focus on trying to keep it as simple and straightforward as possible. Let's take. And we give them the bishop. Not interested, let's take. Simple. Knight. Support. And bishop attacking the knight. Keep it simple, yes they've taken the pawn, so what, let's take, double their pawns, let's um, get the knight here attacking the queen, always remember just because they've got an extra pawn or piece doesn't mean they've won the game, they've still got to put the work in, we've got two on there now, so he can't, well he can go on castle but he'll lose the bishop, so we might as well take the queen off the board, take the rook, Oh, sorry. Double the rooks here. Rook comes to defend. Knight puts a check on the king. Maybe this way. But then he gets the rook. Ah, oh, that would have been ideal. So if we went like this and the bishop took, but because the king is there supporting. Hmm. Let's take the pawn. Getting a little bit too fancy there. Let's take. Let's take, I don't see it yet. Maybe he comes across and then damn, damn, damn. All right, if he does, then we can get the rook off the board with a check. Bishop can't move because of the x-ray. Let's 
and take the rook off the board, I think. Don't play. Now the bishop's going to get mad. They come and attack the rook or something. It's not doing that, but the rook's getting mad, so let's go here. Take with the check. Let's hit the rook. Hit the rook again. All the while I'm just wanting to go for a checkmate really. If they don't realise that. Then we're in. Ah, they have done. Alright, so let's attack this pawn. I might not go for that pawn though. I might just take this. Excellent. Nice one to finish on last game. That was the Hour of Blitzy type 3-0.